Robin Chertsey says, most intelligent people back Boris because they know it was his medical advisers that got it wrong, not him. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, wrong in every regard. No, that's uh, completely incorrect. He got it wrong over and over and over again. And you still support him and defend him just is amazing to me. I mean, count the ways. First of all, he didn't want to shut down, despite what the medical professionals told him to do. Well, first, first of all, he shut down the government body that was in place to prepare for a pandemic. That was one of the first things he did. Curiously, it was one of, also one of the first things that his best buddy in the whole wide world, Donald Trump, did in America. Shut down the government body that would prepare for a pandemic. One of the first things he did. And then he didn't want to shut down, as the medical professionals uh, insisted that he should. Back in February, he said, oh, no, we don't want to do that. And then, of course, he missed all of his COBRA meetings and didn't prepare because he was too busy, uh, you know, organising his love life. Missed emergency meeting. I mean, the clues in the name. Warning, warning. It's an emergency meeting. No, he didn't want to do that. And then he stood up and said um, he'd been um, on a ward full of COVID patients and he shook hands with everybody which was the opposite of what the scientists were telling him to do and then he axed widespread coronavirus testing this is a year ago he did that and then he locked down too late against the advice for, for scientists and then again it like talk about not learning from your lessons then he did it again in september the same thing and the uh, scientists were telling him to protect those people in care homes. And did he? No. No. Of course not. Why would he? And continue to allow people to fly in here from here, there and everywhere, baby. Other, more sensible countries were closing their borders. I thought that was the whole reason that we had to exit the EU. Borders. Left them wide open. People just waltzing in. And, we, of course, we didn't have enough uh, PPE. Should have had. You know, a well-stocked um, health service would have had uh, enough that we didn't have to pay like, ten times the price from uh, various people who have absolutely no experience of providing it. No, no a medical professional told him to do that. It wasn't his medical advisors that told him to do that. He did it. And then he opened the schools for one day despite everybody telling him not to. Not to mention the Test and Trace app, which is costing, what is it, £37 billion pounds for something that doesn't work. And contract test tasting. <laughs> contract testing still doesn't work. Contract taste, contact tasting, t testing, tracing, forgive me, contract, contract, contact tracing. And Boris Johnson said there was uh, not, not much point in uh, wearing masks, despite his uh, medical uh, experts yelling at him that the contrary was true. And then he backed up Dominic Cummings, which was the moment at which a large part of the country thought, yeah, you know what? No. If none of these rules apply to you lot, then uh, wh why do they have to apply to us? so strictly and his dad and eat out to help out which medical professional told him to eat out to help out <laughs> but you know apart from that uh, rob <laughs> yeah you're right yeah you've thought about that a lot uh 